name is Terry McFeely. Welcome to my studio. Terry Arts teaches you and gives you the tools to make three-dimensional art out of fabric. Starting with Terial Magic. Terial Magic is sprayed on your fabric, it's saturated, and then once it's dry, you have a nice sheet. It has a very nice hand, lots of body, and it also is fray resistant. This piece was dried and you can tell it was scrunched. So now I just want to show you how easy it is to iron. My iron is set on high and to get these scrunchy wrinkles out, I'm going to spritz it with water. One spray you can see that all the wrinkles press out extremely easily. making a very nice surface for pinning your fabric and your patterns together. Speaking of patterns, my pattern pieces are printed on a bond paper and I really recommend you use paper scissors when you cut the first patterns out before you lay them on your treated fabric. You don't want to dull your good fabric scissors cutting my pattern pieces out. So once your pattern pieces are cut out, you can pin them to the fabric and you can see here you only need to use one or two pins. Because of the bond paper is nice and stiff and also the fabric is nice and stiff, it's very easy, here we go, to cut pattern pieces out. I like using small scissors when I'm cutting out any kinds of uh, shapes. It's just easier to go around all the curves. The curves on this pattern aren't too much, but there are patterns where there are a lot of little jagged edges, like the poppy. So, this is pretty easy to cut and fast. And you could use a rotary cutter to do this edge here. I will just use these little scissors though. Okay, there you have it. Once you have your pattern piece cut, you are going to be using a base stitch on your sewing machine. I've used a quilt thread and the bobbin, and I've back tacked one edge, allowing you to easily pull the bobbin thread on the stiffer fabric and it does not break. Pull the top thread to lock it, and you're good to go. Material magic is good for other things also. I have found that when I'm doing applique quilting, it's great for cutting these small pieces. This is an actual butterfly that was printed on a piece of uh, fabric, and I just went ahead and cut around the edges after I treated with the fabric and pressed it. And as you can see, I can just finger press the quarter inch under, and it stays. How easy is that? And now you can go ahead and machine applique or hand applique. It's also great when you're cutting small shapes. The fabric's a little bit more rigid and it's very easy to just cut. Once you've gathered your fabric, it's time to glue. I'm going to be making just a little bud and 3-in-1 glue is a real favorite of mine. It's their craft glue, not their fabric glue, their craft glue. But this is my absolute favorite. This is a small mini glue gun, and I have it on the low setting. So if you, if you don't have a glue gun and you go out to buy one, make sure you have the low setting. It keeps your fingers from getting burned, which is really important. So I'm just going to lay a bead of glue. I'm showing the hot glue because you do it in smaller stages because it does glue, it does dry quickly. I have a video out already on wrapping flowers and I use the craft glue. And I think it's important to show you how easy the hot glue is also. So now I'm at the very end here. Let's cut these threads so they don't 
get glued. Last bead of glue, and then just continue my wrap. The fabric has really nice body and it's very easy to handle. And then I just squish it with my fingers, and there you are. Material Arts now manufactures floral wire. And the reason I decided to manufacture our own wire is that each gauge is a little bit different weight and you use different weights for different parts of the flower. If all the flower wire is green, it's very hard to differentiate the thicknesses. And I will show you an example. I think I'm an expert, but when I made this bouquet, you can see I didn't use the 18 gauge wire. I probably used a 20 gauge and this is what I ended up with. It's still beautiful and I can prop it against the wall, but it would have been much better had I used the correct gauge. The red wire is the heaviest wire and it is for your stems, your main stems. The white wire is the lightest wire and I use this in my leaves and in my buds because it's easy to wrap. The 20 gauge wire is what I use for the Tyrial Girl or if I have flowers that I want to wrap on a wreath. It's just a little sturdier than the 22, eight, the 22 gauge so that your flowers will still you know, stand up if they're heavy, but uh, not so heavy that you can't wrap it. Material Arts also has snap clips for your hair and shoe clips for your shoes. I'm going to demonstrate how easy it is to make a hair clip. This is a bud that I pre-made and I'm going to grab my hot glue gun. And because I like to wear flowers that go straight up, and I always, I'm always putting them on this side of my head, I want to make sure that the snap clip is going to bend back that way. If you were to put this in your hair in the back, you may wish to put the snap clip straight down. So I'm going to put a big dollop of glue right there on the back side and this is the front side of the clip and I'm going to press that in there and if you can see the glue penetrates and comes through these little holes which, which is essential if you want the snap clip to be permanent. I tried using regular snap clips that I bought and because they didn't have these little holes it was very difficult to glue the the art onto the clip Plus, it came off the second time I wore it. Well, I was going to put this on a perpendicular, and I put it on straight. It really doesn't matter. It's still a great clip. And I'll just pop it in my hair, and there you are. Well, I hope you got a great overview on what Tyrial Arts and Tyrial Magic can do for you, from arranging beautiful 3D flowers to making wonderful 3D quilts, I would love to see what you're doing. Please visit my website, TerialArts.com. It has a lot of ideas, it has all the product, it has videos, and I would love to hear from you, so please email me and send me your pictures.